and uh, welcome back to Ross Taylor Woodworks. Uh, this time we got a nice uh, Mission Oak bookcase, uh, roughly uh, circa 1900 or so. Uh, it kind of looks like a stickly piece, uh, but it's not. Um, there's a name on the back. There's a tag on the back there. Uh, it's a name I've never heard of before, so um, I often run across this where uh, I see names that I've never seen before. There were so many of these uh, manufacturers back in the day that were making these. Um, you often run across new names that you never heard of before. Uh, but this is um, in good shape. Uh, it's the original shellac finish. Uh, there's just a little bit of alligatoring, uh, but it's in good shape. Uh, I'm just going to do a cleaning and polishing on the finish. Uh, a couple of the joints are uh, kind of coming apart a little bit. I have to tighten up the base. And the uh, doors are a little bit off. Uh, there's something going on with the doors. Uh, this door seems to be set in a little farther than this one. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Whether the door was uh, rehung in a little farther, I don't know. Other than that, it's just a cleaning. Um, but I still have to uh, go through uh, and uh, take everything apart. Uh, take the glass out, put that away so it's safe. Uh, it does look like the original glass. I can see some waves in it. So get this apart, uh, get the uh, joints repaired, cleaned, uh, polished up, and then uh, put it back together. Alright, first thing I'm going to get the doors off, um, kind of take a look at those holes, see if there are other holes drilled, figure out uh, what's going on with this door. But it does look like the original holes, so not quite sure what's going on with this door. Now there were some magnetic catches added at some point, uh, I'm going to get rid of those. Now I'm going to take the glass out. Um, this molding looks like it was uh, put in later, it doesn't look like the original molding. And um, I don't like the way it looks, so I'm going to replace it, it's going to make up some new molding. And I'll put the glass away for safekeeping. Now it's off to the finishing room. Now I've got all the parts down in the finishing room. I'm going to give everything a good scrubbing with some TSP and make sure I dry it off really quickly. All right, I'm done with all the cleaning. Now there are a few little uh, paint spots all over. Uh, they did not come off with the scrubbing. Typically these, those will come right off. So I'm gonna have to go in with a razor blade and kind of pick those uh, spots out. First, I'm going to very carefully rub with a little bit of alcohol. Uh, this is a shellac finish, so I have to be very, very careful. Uh, if it was latex paint, the alcohol should take it right off, but it's not. So it's probably an enamel paint. So I have to go around and uh, kind of pick all the spots out. Okay, after doing all the spots, a uh, quick uh, wipe down. Now there's a couple little spots that need to be touched up. There's one little uh, chip in the finish here. I'm going to kind of blend that in with the rest of the finish. After all the touch-ups, I'm going to wipe on a few coats of shellac.
Now after getting the glass reinstalled, I'm going to rehang the doors. I cleaned the hinges as well. And after I hang the doors, I'll see how they fit. Okay, the uh, doors fit well. Now I'm going to put spring catches on. Uh, there's one part that goes in the door, and then there's a roller part that goes on the cabinet. Now to locate the roller part, I'm going to clip it onto the pin, then measure back from the front to the edge of the rollers, close the door, mark the edge of the door, then measure back from there to the edge of the rollers, then locate it on the uh, inside of the cabinet, and then screw it in place. All right, now this is all done. Um, ended up being uh, pretty quick and easy to uh, fix this up. I just worked with the original finish. Um, had a little bit of alligatoring along the front here, but that's fine. That's the original finish. That's just the condition that it's in, and it's not that bad. Uh, of course, I uh, cleaned the whole cabinet uh, with some TSP, and then uh, did a little touch-up. And then repolished it with a, a new layer of shellac and then a coat of paste wax over that and it looks uh, fantastic of course I had to take the uh, glass out um, I didn't like the uh, moldings that were in here I think they were replaced at some point so I ended up putting some new molding and uh, staining it to match so that looks really good it does look like the original glass now at the beginning, um, I mentioned that the uh, doors seemed to be out of alignment. This door seemed to be uh, not aligned with this one. It seemed to be in farther. And I checked the screw holes. They seem to be the original screw holes. So I'm not sure what was going on there. Um, I think that had something to do with the bottom of the cabinet being spread apart. Uh, bottom of the cabinet had uh, spread apart a little bit. But uh, I pulled that together with a clamp. Uh, Took the old glue blocks off, re-glued them, and that held the bottom together. And then once I re-hung the doors, uh, everything seems to be fine. I think that misalignment of the doors had something to do with the cabinet being spread apart at the bottom. So it works uh, fine now. The doors uh, close nicely. Of course, I added the uh, spring catches. Uh, there's no longer a key for this lock, so you can't lock them. So you have to have some way to hold the doors closed. So this uh, really looks nice now.